Blue is a colour between the violet and green on the optical spectrum of visible light. A human eyes perceive blue when observing light with a wavelength between 450 and 495 nanometers. Because blue is everywhere and everyone. In electronic RGB screens and every newborn's eyes, it is also the colour of my anxiety. Trickling towards oxygenation, mixing in with adrenaline and bleeding like hair and bathwater, blue is hidden in plain sight between the sky and the ocean and it's swirling like a cyclone before this tsunami hits. Blue begins as 8,000 litres of water that produce one pair of jeans, which is a side note, is actually how much water it takes to produce a pair of jeans. Sure, how sure. disgusting is 8,000 litres of water? Don't mind so much, it takes even more. Um, blue began as 8,000 litres of water to produce one pair of jeans that pulled around my father's ankles in a room pasted with wallpaper that peels on the heat and my parents exchange and blue becomes two minutes and two parallel lines on a stick in a public toilet. Appearing like drops chime out on Miller's five-year plan, blue is hereditary. The most expensive pigment, the most overlooked, I'm the only girl, second born, and blue looks great on me. It is also the colour of loneliness. Or bottles of Bombay sapphire empty between friends or a single eared artist inside, blue becomes the colour of wrong place and wrong time, the lips of a black boy after blinking at a policeman's gun, sirens and flashes filling out of your record player and full volume, and blue is a colour that some find difficult to see. That's maybe because we're so used to seeing it. I know, don't get me wrong, I'm not trapped in a turn of painting, I understand that blue is a primary colour, and then we need it to mix a spectrum, but I still have days trapped between the sunlight and the clouds of navy haze, choke up my lungs, and all I see are ink blots, Scarring blank pages meant to inspire, niggling feelings, become dripping taps, turn to flooded homes, and I can't be the only one prepared for this sudden disaster. I can't be the only one sleeping with the windows open and whispering thank goodness for the rain for excuse to not leave the house today. Mm -hmm. But blue has way too many shades, the colour within my lines using only one. So are you sapphire, cobalt, and teal? Because peacocks, they're pretty proud of their hues. And I use aquamarine and navy and indigo so I refuse to only blue. And when water soaks you to down to your bones, saturates straight through your senses, it's just taking your eyes the time to adjust, to appreciate being flushed out and cleansed through so that you can see all the other colours that you're shading in. Mm -hmm. 